hello Scorpios, getting right into your March 2023 reading. Let's see what needs to come out. We have the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, a Tower, and the Eight of Cups. So, all right, something is going to be revealed and it's going to be life-changing for you here. You're going to go through a major awakening, similar to with Capricorn's energy to where it's like, you know what, enough is enough. I'm going to, I'm not going to let people... I'm not going to deal with other people's problems, Scorpios. And as you do this, as you're focusing on your money, as you're focusing on yourself, you have a strong emperor energy trying to come in, a strong masculine energy. And it's because you have left what no longer serves you behind, okay? We're in a full moon, March 7th, March 6th or 7th, and well, it's the same energy here. And it's like, enough is enough. I know what I want, and nothing's going to stop me here with the three of swords energy. That's in reverse, okay? Going through a healing phase. Again, a new opportunity is going to come in in love because the chapter is closing for you. You know, you're finally understanding, you know what? I know what's meant for me, and I'm going to continue to live my life until I get it. And the universe is offering you it. We have separation. Time from your part, time apart from your partner is on the horizon because... You need to figure out what you need in love relationships, right? There's a pause, pause in a, um, right now. We have very soon, see, I can't talk, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you right now, Scorpio, because your energy is showing up. Someone's definitely thinking about you. This would be someone that you're dating right now and you are going to be exclusive with this person. Again, it's just um, past energy that you're clearing out because it's like, wow, this person is very different from my past. So, you know, no need to second guess for those who are dating your person right now. Uh, this could be a Capricorn energy. They do really like you. Okay. So there's no need to get into like a um, a tailspin about this. Okay. We have a Nine of Swords energy in reverse. So for some of you Scorpios, you're kind of, you know, nervous and anxious on when this new opportunity could be coming in, okay? But again, you know, for some of you, your divine feminine energy is off. Spirit wants you to tap more into your Queen of Cups energy. Don't um, recognize or take a loss as a loss. It's a game for you to move forward and it's redirecting you to your true path here. That's why we have separation for some of you. You could be realizing you're not getting um, emotionally fulfillment in your relationship right now, Scorpios. So there could be a breakdown and separation this month for you for the month of March. So be mindful of drinking a lot. You know, fill your cup. Do what makes you happy here. Take action on this confusion by doing things that make yourself feel better, Scorpios, and you're going to be okay. Again, there's some of this reappearing. could be your twin flame as well. Again, it's going to be unexpected here. I could be dealing with the, with the air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. With the death card energy in reverse, again, this is you clearing out energy. And again, it's going to kind of come unexpected because I feel like you're just going to wake up in the month of March and you're just going to be like, you know what? I'm, I'm over it. I'm just really over it here. We have look at the bigger picture. And then we have a personal issue will reach resolution this month. Okay, so keep an open mind. I wonder when the outcome is on the forecast for you because you have a strong energy that's trying to come in and want to work on this. But you have to be able to choose your path. So don't be hard on yourselves for the month of March and let what needs to fall, fall. All right, Scorpios? Because you're going through a way you're making waking this month. Don't, don't hold tight to any situation right now for the month of March, okay? Because again... Your counterpart is really waiting for you right now. Just like Capricorn is waiting, you know, they're waiting for you and you're waiting for them. But look at all, look at what you need to get through in order for you to get this. Okay, so, you know, keep working, keep focusing on your goals, your your um, dreams here for the month of March. You're going to be all right. No matter what a win-win outcome is on the forecast for you, the skills are going to balance out. We have five of REO. You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Hope is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies here, okay? We also have Ace of Michael, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. And we have another Ace of New Beginnings and Change for the month of March. A positive new experience, emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, yep. Deep and lasting spiritual insights here. So again, this change is for the better, which is why Spirit is saying very soon, decide on what you want, clear up everything, because your life's going to change. 
They have manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance right now. We have look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way. And then we have healing. Yep, there's time for you to heal. So you're going to be all right. A new beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately here. And we also have when it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love, okay? It's always a lesson hidden in these little situations that we're always in, but you're going to be okay, Scorpios, okay? There's no need to fret over this. You're just going through a massive healing awakening where you're getting out of your own way, okay? You're clearing out things, again, that's no longer serving you, but don't don't focus on clearing out so much that you forget about the goals, you know, stay grounded here is what I'm trying to say so that you can manifest exactly what you want, okay? This is karma clearing out for you. So trust in yourself and your abilities right now. You're going to be all right, Scorpios, all right? I'm going to leave it here. I hope this helps and have a wonderful week.